I still don't believe this. You caught Kay and Simone trying to sneak Jessica back in the house. Yes, they were helping her to get up the trellis. And Jessica's dressed like some... Tramp? Yeah. What were you thinking? And what are you doing with cigarettes in your purse? I'm sorry, Dad. That's not an answer. An answer would be, uh, hey, Dad, I'm carrying them for a friend. Or I've never seen these cigarettes before in my life. Or, hey, Dad, these are my cigarettes, and I do smoke. Now, which one is it? I... I smoke once in a while, but only once in a blue Jessica, moon, Dad. But why? I mean, with all the information you've been given on the dangers of cigarette smoking and what it does to your health, I thought you were smarter than that. And where did you go dressed like that and zip that up? And I want to know where you were tonight. We just went out, Dad. It's no big deal. Well, it is a big deal to me when your sister goes out dressed like a hooker. And why were you trying to sneak her back into the room if it's no big deal? Obviously, you didn't want your father to see you like that. You know, I guess I was a fool. I trusted you. And here you are, sneaking out of the house, smoking cigarettes. Now, where were you tonight? I want to know. We just went to a club. A club? And were you drinking, too? No. no. All right, well, who else was with you? Huh? Did your boyfriend, huh, put you up to this? Oh, damn it, I swear we weren't with any guys. No, it was just an innocent girls' night out. Just the girls, huh? No one else is with you? Well, Paloma was with us. So where is Paloma now? Yeah. Where is Paloma? Okay. Now just tell me what happened. Okay? Paloma's with you. Where is she now? We don't know, Dad. What do you mean, you don't know? Paloma's younger than you girls. Why didn't you keep an eye on her? Well? What is it you're not telling me? I think we should keep an eye on Paloma. She's on the fast train to trouble. Yeah, I, I don't think she realizes how sexy she is. She could be giving guys the wrong impression. Grow up, Simone. The girl knows exactly how sexy she is. And she's giving that guy exactly the impression she wants to give him. You creep. I'm sorry. Goodness, we got out of there before something really terrible happened. Please, where's Paloma? I thought she was right behind us. Oh my gosh, I did too. Nothing, Dad. I'm sure Paloma's still at the club. Still at the club? By herself? She's new in harmony. She's an innocent young girl. How could you just leave her? Well, when we were when we were ready to leave the club, we couldn't find her. So you just left her there? Yeah, I, I can't believe this. You're all in some serious trouble. Thanks a lot, Ivy. Well, don't blame her. She didn't dress you up like this and drive you to the club. But Kay, you're Jessica's older sister. Now, you know the dangers of running around at night going to clubs. I wasn't trying to get you in trouble, Jessica. I was really worried about you. Well, spare me your concern, OK? Hey, I won't have you talking to Ivy that way, all right? I want you to apologize right now. I won't apologize. You're not my mother, so stop trying to be. I don't want you here. I wish you'd just go back to where you came from. Jessica! I mean it, Dad. Why does she have to live with us? Why can't she just go away? Jessica, you're acting like an obnoxious brat. Now, what's come over you? You've never acted this way before. I am sorry, Dad. But I am sick of her. I am sick of Ivy trying to be like Mom. She's always fussing over you, trying to keep house, trying to cook, and she stinks at it. She's always looking over my shoulder, checking to see if I'm studying. She's trying to be my mom, and she isn't. Jessica, I have never tried to replace your mother. I was only trying to be your friend. Well, I have a lot of friends, Ivy, and you're not one of them. Hey, I won't let you be disrespectful to Ivy. Now, when your mother left, I was devastated. I didn't know how I was going to handle it, how I was going to raise a family all by myself. But Ivy has helped me tremendously. Yeah, I'm sure. 
She helped herself right into your bed in no time. That's enough. Well, it's true, isn't it? Why are you such a hypocrite? You preach to us about being good girls and making sure we stay virgins until we're married. And here you are shacking up with your old girlfriend right in front of your children. Huh. Some good example you set, Dad. Chief Bennett. Are you sure it's Paloma Lopez Fitzgerald? Paloma? What's happened to her? Oh, my gosh. Look, get a counselor over there immediately. I'm on my way. Sam, what is it? What's happened with Paloma? That was the hospital. Paloma's in ER. She was found at a club after a police raid. Uh-oh. A police raid? She's in the ER? What's wrong with her? She was beaten up. What? Beaten up? Paloma? How, how is she, Sam? How bad is she? No, she's in bad shape. She's still unconscious. Oh, my gosh. You all know where she was. You were there with her. And when there was a police raid, you just left her there. Yeah, Chief Bennett, we looked for her. We wanted to get her out of there. And then when the police came... But we couldn't find her. Maybe you should have looked a little harder. Okay, she may have been raped. Oh, God, Sam. Look, I've got to go. Okay. And we'll continue this discussion when I get back.